is Millerboy here. In my last videos, I showed you how to flash um, Xbox 360 Hitachi drives, you know, so you can play burn games on them uh, that you've downloaded off the internet. So, um, you guessed it, today I'm going to be doing a different type of drive. Uh, that drive is going to be a Samsung drive. If you don't know if you've got a Samsung or not, um, I should have a video up at some point showing you how to find out what drive you've got. If I'm not getting it up right now, though, feel free to Google or YouTube to find that information out. Uh, so, you know, let's get stuck in. First of all, you're going to want to go and check my description. Now, the first link should be a link to a program called Jungle Flasher. This is actually going to be flashing uh, the firmware onto our drive. The second link is a link to uh, the download of a, of a zip file, which includes the Samsung firmware uh, that we're going to flash onto the drive. So make sure you, you click on both of them links. Uh, with the Jungle Flasher one, make sure you go and get the latest version. Um, and with the other one, you just download it and pop it somewhere for now. So once you've got both of them, you should have something like this. A Jungle Flasher and a Samsung. Uh, all the, Both the numbers on these, like the Samsung 2.0 and the Jungle Flasher uh, 0.1.9. These numbers will tend to change as it gets updated. I'll do my best to keep these uh, download links updated the links updated as well so first of all we'll want to go and open jungle flasher and you should have something a little bit like this the first thing we're going to go and click on is the firmware folder so go ahead and open that and uh, you shouldn't have anything in here I do though because I've done uh, this tutorial before so I'm going to go and delete this and show you from scratch so your s folder should look something like this it should say place firmware here so you know what, I think we're going to go and do what it says and place the firmware there. Uh, so we're going to move that to the side for a moment so we can open our Samsung 2.0 firmware folder. Like I said before, that number will tend to change. So we're going to open that. And you should have something like this. Uh, LTSAMI v 2.01.bin uh, That number will also tend to change. I know I keep saying this, but I just don't want you to get confused if the number's different. Um, yeah, so, yeah, there's only one file, not really much point for a folder, but I did it. So, uh, you want to go and get that, and just drag it in there, and then your folder should look like it, I had it before. So, you want to go and close your firmware folder, I'm going to put this back into the middle, and now your folder looks like this, you want to go back to the root of your jungle flasher folder, so uh, back to how it looked uh, when you first opened it, and then what you want to go and do, before you open the jungle flasher program, you want to make sure the Xbox 360 drive is successfully connected to your laptop or computer. Um, I'm, it doesn't really matter which way you do it, as long as it's a, a, way, a way that works. For instance, I use a tool called the X360 USB Pro, if you don't know what that is, I want to get one. Uh, so you can do these steps with me. Uh, feel free to go back and check my other videos, as I had a video showing you basically what it is. Um, where to get it from and how to set it up uh, but like I said you can connect other ways um, but whichever way you've you've connected it you want to make sure it's connected to a power source wh whether that's a CK3 or whatever it's called um, or just your Xbox 360 if it's your Xbox 360 make sure that power cables in it's turned on and the video cables in so uh, once that's all done you can actually go ahead and open jungle flasher so let's do that now will only take a moment. If you have got the X360 USB Pro, you will notice one of the lights to go red, perfectly normal. So we'll open something like this. And then you get um, a little window popping up. Like I said, if you've got the X360 USB Pro, you also get a little message down here saying it's detected. If not, then make sure you go back and make sure it's all connected properly. So, um, we're doing the Samsung drive today, so we're not going to go to the Hitachi tab like we do in, we did in my previous videos. We're going to go to the MTK Flash 32 tab. So let's go and do that. So now, uh, this may look a little bit confusing. First of all, you want to go up to here where it says IO port. And this little drop down menu here. You have a number of little things. If you're using the X360 USB Pro, it should always be the, all, the one with all zeros. If you're connected in another way, you might want to go and ch uh, try the others. So if I click this one, if you're using a different method, it might be this one, might be another one. This one's not, uh, obviously, because it does. It's not. It says no drive detected in the drive properties one. So I, if 
you need to basically click the one that will pop up with uh, something in drive properties so I'm going to go back to all my zero one so now what I'm going to do is go over to the right where it says 360 tools now if you're using um, an MS28 drive which I am actually because if you look down in drive properties you can see it says MS28 you can go and hit SAMI unlock that you'll need to do this or it won't work um, other drive you won't need to do this, but you know, I don't think there's actually any harm in doing clicking that. So um, you might want to go and do that anyway. So if you're not sure, but like I said, if you're not sure, your firmware number is down here. So let's go and click Sammy Unlock. Now pop a little message, blah blah blah. Basically, we just want to go ahead and click yes. So you know, yes. And if you look down here in the description, it says sending. It said sending, and it said stage two complete, complete, done, blah blah blah. And there we go. So um, now we've done that. We want to go down to here where it says flashing tasks, and we want to go and click the button that says read. So we're going to go and do that. Now down here it says reading bank zero, reading bank one. You should get to about, about reading bank three, and it should be done. So uh, let's let that do that. Is it free now? And as you see, this window will pop up. You want to just, this is basically uh, the firmware off your drive. Put this somewhere safe for now. I'm just going to go and put this on my desktop. So I'm going to click uh, save. So that's saved on my desktop. Now it will say, loaded to source buffer. Do you wish to auto load Samsung LT Plus? You know, why not? You know, save us a bit of time. So click yes. And now you'll see something a little bit like this. Uh, now what you want to go and do is where the spoof source to target button is. You want to just keep hit that a few times, uh, you know, just to double check. Uh, but you know, once that's done, you can go right back to the MTK Flash 32 tab. So let's do that. Uh, now, you want to go and take the final step of flashing your drive. You don't need to do this erase button or any of the other things. You just need to go and click the right button because so, this erases and writes. So uh, go and click the right button now, and it will say erasing. And then it will say writing. So it's erased the, the firmware on the drive now. And it's starting to write the new uh, flashed firmware. So you can play burn games. This will take only a moment. Or a couple of minutes. Um, so yeah, after this step, you've only got one tiny little step. And you're more or less done. So um, yeah, um, after, after you've done all this, you can go and pop your unplug everything from your computer. And a um, popular burn game. If you've if you don't if you've not got a game burnt yet, you can go back to my other videos and uh, check out how to download and burn one. But um, yeah, you you should be ready to go after this. Uh, we're on writing bank two right now. It should only take a moment now. Like I said, it goes up to bank three, then it's done. So uh, yep, final bank now. Bank three seems to be taking a little bit longer. But hey, um, yeah. You get to hear my voice a little longer. How lucky are you? Okay, it's nearly done now. All right, it's right. It's more or less at the end. So it, once that's done, it will say reading bank to you know verify that it's uh, flashed correctly. Again, this will go up to bank three, and there we go. Right, verified. Okay, if you get that message, well done. You have flashed your drive. Uh, now, just to double check, you want to go over back to Flash and Tax, where it says Outro ATA Reset, and then uh, click that. And you make sure you do this, or you might have some problems. So once that's done, over in Drive Properties, it should pop up like it did at the beginning, and there you go. That's your uh, Xbox 360 drive flashed onto the latest firmware. So, um, you know, well done. Uh, thank you for watching. Remember to comment, rate and subscribe. Got any problems, leave a comment in the description and I'll do my best to help.